from the north side. <laughs> Anyone else here from the north side tonight? Woo! I thought uh, dogs were the only ones that hung on their S's, if you know what you mean. Do you know what you mean anyways? But I was in the north recently, I was on a cycling holiday in the north. I went from Belfast to Derry. I asked this woman for directions. I said, uh, I'm looking for Newton Arts. And she said, Newton Arts? I said, yes. So, foreigners, if you uh, want to connect with locals, just hang on your asses. <laughs> they do know, and anyways. Um, I was talking to my daughter the other day. I said to her, I think I'm gender fluid. And she said, Jesus, why me? <laughs> she said, you're a 49-year-old man in crisis. She says, the landscape of your personal life is in tatters. There isn't a tree to hang yourself on. <laughs> That's supposed to elicit uh, uh, Patrick. <laughs> but I said, well, whatever about that, um, I think I'm gender fluid. She said, what does that mean? You're probably talking about someone who struggled with their identity. Well, I said, uh, it means you can use gender neutral bathrooms. She said, you mean like the one upstairs in our family home? <laughs> <laughs> so identity politics ramps up very, very quickly. Back in the old days, it was men, women, and if you were from Munster, there were legends. <laughs> Ronan O'Gara, legend. <laughs> Um, pace of life is ramping up. It's unstoppable. Amazon, I saw announced recently, four-hour window between you ordering and it being delivered. So people are impatient. They're drumming their fingers on the table. What are they waiting for? Probably a book on wellness. <laughs> <laughs> Meditation. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Uh, I've made my own effort. I'm feeling very smug about it. Of course, I feel I have every reason to be smug anyway. I'm not saying I'm better than you. <laughs> That's a nervous laugh, Chris. Uh, I've given up my phone, a smartphone, a company-issued smartphone, and I now have a Nokia. The full range of the Nokia is calls, texts, and snake. <laughs> which I play, I feel like I'm part of something bigger, I'm part of a snake playing community at 3 a.m. in the morning while well, I'm not connected to the internet. Um, but I do have one app which uh, I do find very useful, it's a calendar app. So someone might say to me, Patrick, what's the latest score? Did City win the cup? I'll say, hang on. Ah. My birthday falls on a Tuesday in 2025. <laughs> Look, there's November. It's coming up. It's all on the calendar app. Uh, I'm a single man, which I find unbelievable. I mean, look at me. I'm a magnificent physical specimen. <laughs> 40 foot tall, I'm made of diamond. You can see that, but others are finding difficulty, particularly women. I was uh, cycling on Grantham Street recently, it's just off Camden Street. It's uh, an area that hasn't totally become gentrified, it hasn't been overwhelmed with hanging baskets, there's still an element of grit there. I saw a woman in a cafe, beautiful woman, this is in the morning, wearing high heel shoes and a low leg sweater. She was reading a book, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Uh, it's a self-help book. I jammed on the brakes, I said, Patrick, stop, you can help. <laughs> Locked my bike, I went in, I sat beside her. She was eating porridge with no toppings. <laughs> no raspberry, no strawberry, no cream, no brown sugar. I said, this is the kind of gritty woman I'm looking for. <laughs> I said to her, it's not necessary to read that book, it's all in the title. Don't live your life in the future anticipating. Don't regret the past, it's all about now, here and now, now. Of course, now is a slippery concept, because as soon as you say it, it's gone. I said another book title might be, or actually is, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. She looked me in the eye and she said, I feel fear. 
No. <laughs> I started babbling in French, trying to pretend I wasn't from Ireland and customs where I'm from are a little different. Um, but you call security. I say French, Irish people love French. Wallonia, is that French speaking or Dutch yes. speaking? Thank you, I, you know, Chris, we're all the same, we're confused. Um, Irish people go weak at the knee at the sound of French. Cuisine de la France. Herbe de Provence. Les Français parlent ici. And uh, if I was run over by a truck, <laughs> Citroën truck, or a Renault truck, or a Peugeot truck, in some shabby suburb of Paris, Clichy sous bois. The doctor might call my mother, and the conversation would go like this. Bonjour, madame. Je suis médecin. Médecin sans frontières. What do you mean? Je suis très, 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 très désolé. Mais madame, votre fils, Patrick, il est mort. And my mother would say, oh, my son is, my son is dead. Could you say that again? <laughs> <laughs> You've been bleeding deadly. Thank you very much. <laughs> One more time, but we're still alive. Yeah, I'm great.